wake up and you're like, yeah, today I'm going to be like the most nice, kind, loving person ever. I am just going to overflow with love. And then you like start talking to people and you're like, why don't I feel what I do when I talk to this person? And then you're like, oh my gosh, it's because they're an asshole. <laughs> I totally didn't see that coming. And it's like, they're amazing. There's like these little insidious assholes. You're just like, half of the way in society. You have no idea. It's like, bam, they just hit you with their sphincters. And it's like, um, anyways. I don't know, I kind of got over it because like, I found the most accidentally racist thing in the grocery store today called Cracker Bread, which I had to buy. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I was being. It's like having chain crackers there or something, but it's like Cracker Bread. Wonderful. Um, right, I think it's a day. Um, yeah, so I know like being ethnic and stuff is just to talk about it because it's like the elephant in the room. But the problem with this, right, all these people are like, you should talk more about your ethnicity. It's like, half the time, I forget that I'm not white. <laughs> no. If I can justify this statement, it's like when I was growing up, my aunt had like four dogs, and three of them were poodles, and one of them was like a golden lab. And because the golden lab only ever saw other poodles growing up, like it kind of thought it was a poodle because it had no idea. <laughs> and I, it's like it would do poodly things, like jump onto your lap thinking it weighed five pounds and stuff. And I kind of came to realize that I, I am that fat golden lab because all I ever see and hang out with are white people. And like sometimes I'll find myself sitting in Cotton Common drinking a beer and listening to Kings of Leon, and I'm like, what am I doing? I don't even like these things. I'm so confused. 